I have been participating in a series of conference calls with black broadcasters from across the country over the last several months and there's a consensus that you know black media black radio in particular black talk radio is under attack it's there's a, a serious demise there's a serious silencing of black voices and black concerns and black ideas and so um, Bob Law who is one of the panelists really has taken it upon himself to try and mobilize and create a network of black broadcasters to um, try and, and reassert a, um, an agenda, a voice, and to protect what is left of black radio. And so we are making a distinction um, between kind of mainstream black radio and what we call progressive or authentic black radio. And so WURD is a part of that canon, for lack of a better word, um, of authentic black radio where we are one of the few, we're the only in Pennsylvania and one of the few in the United States that is still alive and kicking to provide a, an outlet for the African American community to speak its truth and be heard. So um, this, this panel was really convened to underscore the importance of black radio and the, the critical um, and the, the relevance of black radio in today's community. A lot of people think that radio is dying and, and that there's not a need, but these brothers were standing with WRD to say that it's not only necessary, it's essential. It's essential for the African American community to have a, a, a independent, progressive voice that can articulate our needs and issues and concerns. And so that's what this was all about. For WRD, what's at stake is our viability, is our ability to stay in business so that the you know, black politicians, the black business owners, the black community has a place, black artistic institutions has a place to have conversations that aren't happening other places. So what's at stake is, I think, the ability to articulate what is essential to us as a people and have a an outlet to um, celebrate to challenge to just um, discuss what is what is important to us I come out of a media background and so I've always known the power and the importance of um, the media and I've, I've published an African-American health magazine before this and so I definitely understand what is unique and special and different about our issues whether it's around health care or politics or education um, we have a different perspective we have a, um, a, 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 a level of concerns that aren't necessarily echoed in the mainstream community. So um, I, I love Philadelphia, I love black people, and so the, the calling, I guess, is just that this is something that my family had invested in, and I was kind of the logical one coming out of a media background, I was kind of the logical one to step in and see if I could bring to bear whatever creativity and talent I have to try and build this this institution it's exhausting but it's also empowering it's exhausting in the sense that um, the the race is not run I mean it's not it's not finished it's not won as of yet it's um, I'm still like I feel like I'm still like in the middle I'm um, and it's far from over, but I feel like there has been a real, um, there's been movement, forward movement, 
important, sustainable, you know, instead of being at a sprint with like wind and rain and everything in my face, I feel like I can, you know, kind of get into a rhythm and that's sustainable. And so it, it means a lot. It means um, that I can build out, I can build my staff, I can build capacity and there's, instead of being like um, on the brink of destruction, there's an opportunity to really look at where are we going in the future? How do we create a foundation that's sustainable, not just for a year or two, but for 50, 100 years? And what does that look like? We are already actively trying to move into a multimedia world. So we are on air, online, and in the community. So this kind of multi-pronged approach, to me, it is deepening and really building each of those properties so that they are, in fact, revenue generating and profit centers and authentic and you know I think being much more on top of news you know and, and not just reacting to things but really um, being able to break news and to be I mean and, and that you have to be able to to create a big institution to do that well and so to me um, the long term is to just continue to build and do what we do but do it better and better and be able to attract the best and the brightest people to this entity and, and to just redefine what black media is and to set the bar very high.